Let's say based on this product list, we are going to make a folder for it. First, we make a folder. After that, giving a folder name. How about we have this much folders? It become a issue. What about this much or that much or this much? I will tell you how to solve this problem quickly without VBA code. Let's go back to Excel. I prepare small example. Here you put equal quotation mark MD space quotation mark and select the cell which you want to give a folder name A2 press enter button double clicking it automatically fill out control C click window button no path control V click file save in my case, I will use pictures folder. I create a new folder for this testing, double clicking it. After that, change the name, delete. I give this name, point PAT. Go to encoding, click here, select ANSI, save it. If you go back to folder, you can find BAT file. So basically we are done, just double clicking it. You can see all necessary folders are automatically created. For next test, I will erase it this part. Let's move on to next case. Our challenge is gonna be having these two in folder name. Equal quotation mark MD space quotation mark and selecting the cell which you wanna have and quotation mark on the bar quotation mark and selecting the cell again press enter button you have this name same as double clicking it you will get this values ctrl c go back to notepad file new tab ctrl v file save i will choose the same folder double clicking it change the name here after adding file name point .pat, encoding ansi, save it, go back to the folder, then we can find new batch file, just double clicking it. Now you see folder name which has product ID and product name. I will erase it again for our next test. The next folder structure is we have a folder and inside of this folder we creating subfolders. Let's go back to Excel. I already prepared this example. When you do multiple folder layers, the important part is folder name has to be one letter like this. The code looks like this. The format is exactly the same as previous one. However, we adding folder name, which is column A. After that, we adding backslash, which is creating subfolders. The following parts are exactly the same as before. So I already created here like this setup, double clicking it. Then I will get this part, Control C, Notepad, overwrite it, file, save it, back to the folder, double clicking it. Now we see group A, group B's are over there. Let's check inside. It looks perfect. And here as well. We can also think about the opposite cases. So I prepare these cases. Now I want to make a Excel which extract the folder names in this folder. Let's go back to notepad, file, new top, dir space slash b space slash ad space this sign space giving a file name. So I choose extracting folder names dot csv file save 
in the same folder I will create batch file so delete this part BAT ANSI saving it back to the folder now we have extracting folder name batch file double clicking it we can see one CSV file, double clicking it. Now you can see all folder names are extracted from the folder. I hope this tutorial helped you out when you are facing like this situation.